New at 430, there is a new proposal on Capitol Hill to make September 11th a federal holiday to honor those lost and those still impacted by the attacks to this very day. Republican Congressman Michael Lawler from Rockland County is pushing this effort. He pushed for a state holiday when he was in the assembly, an effort that did not succeed. And just about an hour ago, I spoke with him about this latest try. Congressman, I guess the first question for you is that when you were in the state assembly, you tried this, getting this passed uh, for New York State. It didn't work. And we know Capitol Hill hasn't always been welcoming when it comes to funding 9-11 related health issues and other matters. So why do you feel this could be successful now? This is an issue uh, that does have broad bipartisan support, uh, especially here in the tri-state area. Uh, and I think it's important that we remember and we honor and reflect upon those uh, who lost their lives uh, on September 11th, 2,977 uh, victims, as well as our first responders and uh, those that were down at ground zero in the aftermath uh, who have died in recent years and who are suffering from 9-11-related uh, health illnesses. Congressman, you mentioned Democrats in the state assembly. What were you hearing from critics or those who were opposed or failed to move it as a reason not to do so? And frankly, sadly, I think it's just because I was a Republican that introduced it in a Democrat-controlled legislature. Um, but the, the reality here is, uh, you know, I am in the majority in the House. Uh, there is a, a, a Senate companion, uh, Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee, has introduced. Uh, and I do think that we can get broad bipartisan support for it. Some have cited the cost of a, of a federal holiday. Some have cited a concern about apathy. Then in reality, people won't uh, recognize it as it should be and just use it as another day off. What are your response to those? This isn't about creating a long weekend. This is about reflecting on uh, a day which impacted our nation's history. It was the worst terrorist attack uh, on American soil. Uh, that's something that we should uh, reflect upon. And, and so I don't, I don't fall for that argument uh, or the cost associated with it. All right. So finally, what should we expect next in this process? Your constituents who may be watching and, and wanting this, uh, what happens now? I think this is uh, one where we can get broad bipartisan support. Uh, and so we're going to work through that process, get it through the House and, and uh, pass it on to the Senate, uh, where hopefully Senator Schumer uh, and Senator Gillibrand will uh, work with Marsha Blackburn to get it passed. Any indication from them as yet? Any backdoor channels or conversations? As to we're reaching out to their office and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll have uh, some response soon. But I, I think this is a, an issue as New Yorkers uh, where we should all be able to get behind. There are currently 11 federal holidays with Juneteenth added last year. September 11th is currently a National Day of Remembrance and Service.